Alright, what is going on Swifters and welcome to a brand new adventure, a brand new series in Skyrim. Uh, this <laughs> is a heavily modded Skyrim series and we're going to be tackling uh, Dawnguard. We're going to be doing the Dawnguard DLC. Uh, I've never played it so I'm really, really pumped and excited to, you know, get into it, find out the story and everything. Uh, really, really excited but more importantly, I'm very excited to play Skyrim uh, extensively with these mods installed. Now, I've installed a bunch of mods. I do encourage you guys to watch this if, if possible in HD and if even more possible if you can watch it, if your bandwidth is good enough or whatever. Uh, please try and watch it in 1080p. Uh, headphones is also recommended just because I've added some new sounds, uh, sound mods and stuff like that. So things are going to sound a bit better. Um, so taking control here. I just want to show off a couple things first. Uh, so I've installed a ton of mods. I'm going to try and put them down in the description below in case you're wondering which ones they are. The main one that I'm running is the Real Vision ENB mod, um, which is pretty crazy. And, uh, you know, I'm running with Skyrim 2K textures. So even things like these flowers here, sorry, I had to make a cut there. Uh, even things like these flowers here look really, really nice. Um, which is really cool. And what is going on? Oh, we got some spiders over here. All right. Okay, get out of here. Look at look, look at the horses come to battle. I love it. This is my follower. This is Aaron. So everyone, get to know Aaron because she's a beauty and she's gonna be helping us. Uh, <laughs> so I've installed some other mods as well, female enhanced mods, uh, both male enhanced mods too, so that the their faces and the skin look like a lot more realistic. Um, you can see like the faces and the skin on the females look more realistic. This everything I wanted everything to make basically to be more realistic um, and uh, you know slightly more textured and uh, just just better graphics I don't know I just most of most all of the mods that I've installed are all like graphic graphical enhanced mods um, so it's gonna be pretty crazy looking so I'm gonna hit up the journal here and we are going to uh, speak with the leader of the Dawn Guard. So let's begin our journey here, and I'm really, really excited about this. I'm sorry that this has taken me so long to get the series off the ground, but um, I'm uh, I'm pumped. I'm very, very pumped. And hey, hey we'll start it on Valentine's Day, right? <laughs> so a uh, little February 14th action here, and uh, with Elder Scrolls Online coming out, ooh, mountain flowers, mountain flowers. Ooh, what's this over here? Mountain flower, mountain flower. Aaron, you ever seen so many mountain flowers in your life? I don't think so. Um, with uh, Elder Scrolls Online coming out, uh, you know, very, very soon, within the next couple months, um, I wanted to get back into Skyrim and play some more Skyrim, um, and, you know, really kind of hit, hit Skyrim hard, hopefully, and, and, uh, record some stuff. I want to start doing maybe some Skyrim mod reviews as well, because some of those are really cool. Um, and I seem to be... Sitting at a fairly solid 30 frames right now, which is good. Uh, it's probably to be expected with all the mods that I have installed here. Um, but let's go ahead here and see where we're supposed to go. Um, so yeah, Elder Scrolls Online is coming out. Oh, this is a cool mod that Clash told me about. It's just a better sign mod. Uh, the the signs are a lot more readable. Oh, hello, butterfly. This is just too picturesque. Way too picturesque here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um... But yeah, it's uh, the sign just makes these signs much clearer and easier to read, which I think is really nice. Texture on the wood is great. I love it. Um, so yeah, Elder Scrolls Online is coming out April 4th. Very pumped for that. Very, very pumped for that. Oh, hi. Hi. Get wrecked. Let's see what you got. Nothing? Oh, you got friends though. Peace. Let's just one-shot these wolves. <laughs> yeah. See you guys. Um, I'm getting a little bit of frame loss, but I don't think it's it's too bad at all. Uh, yeah, so trying to... What am I hearing? Somebody's up here banging stone. Oh, this guy. Hey, buddy. Greetings, brother. You look weary. I have something to help you relax, if you're interested. What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? The finest skooma. Oh, no. The sweetest moon sugar. At a fair price, of course. I don't know if I want to sell my soul. This doesn't seem legal. Ah, oh, a snitch, huh? <laughs> P 
can't have you running any guards now, can I? No. You're gonna fight me, aren't you? Oh, it's time for you to die. Yeah, get him, Aaron! Oh, get wrecked, Orc! Get wrecked! Peace! Aaron with the finishing blow! Thanks, girl. I appreciate it. Dang. She's a train wreck. Alright. Go look at I can get moon sugar for free. Thank you. Whoa, she was loaded. Okay. There's some other armors as well that are added from, from mods and stuff too. So if you see anything new, that's probably what it is. Um, so yeah, okay. Back to my original thought here. Elder Scrolls Online is coming out and I'm going to be playing the heck out of that game. Look at this fire. It just looks great. I'm going to be playing the heck out of that game like just a ton. A freaking ton. Um, probably a majority of my content in April will be Elder Scrolls Online. So I was like, you know what? Let's go back to Skyrim. Let's check out Skyrim again. Add some mods. Give it that uh, sort of next-gen boost feel type of thing with, with graphical updates and stuff like that. And it was fun. It was really fun to mod this. This and, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to this new series. So here we go. Uh, we are in Day Spring Canyon. Um, I think. Uh, yeah, it's like a secret passage into the Dawn Guard, apparently. Yes, I am. Truth is, uh, I hope you don't mind if I walk up with you. Don't tell me this one. I'm afraid to leave by myself. Not the best first impression for a new vampire hunter, I guess. This guy's a little chicken. Oh my gosh. Look at this water. Look at the water. Look at everything. Wow, look at those glaciers. Those look cool. You have to forgive me if I ever am playing this and I just take a moment to absorb the beauty. Because this game is gorgeous anyways. Um, but when I put mods in like this... Whew! Where's Aaron? What do you think? It's, it's pretty beautiful, huh? I think so. Oh my goodness. Alright. So, let's go up here. I think things are about to get a little more beautiful. Because I did go up to about this part. I wanted to make sure that some of this stuff worked. This is a pretty plant. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Fort freaking Dawnguard, yo! Oh! We made it. Oh, what's this? Harvest thistle. Or thistle. Mountain flower. Mountain flowers are everywhere, man. Alright. So this guy. Agmare. Uh, now, I'm, not, I'm, I'm an untraditionalist. I want to see what's up this path here first before we even set foot on the front doorstep of the, of uh, Fort Dawnguard. Okay, hello, dear. Looks like nothing's really up here. Sometimes, this is my Morrowind days coming back to me here. Uh, basically, just looking in every nook and cranny of the game. If you guys have seen me play Skyrim, you know that's how I play. And very much probably how I play Elder Scrolls Online as well. But uh, Morrowind, they hid stuff all over the place. Skyrim, not so much. But I still just feel like uh, occasionally I just have to go search things. And just see just in case if there's something there. Because if there is, you don't want to miss it. Okay, let's take this in for a second. Wow. This is huge. Very cool though. Okay. What do we have here? Hammer. Man, this place is just absolutely beautiful. Oh, the crossbows. That's right. Durak. Hello. What are you shooting? I dare you to shoot an apple off my head. Do it. Do you think he'll fire it? <laughs> Do you think the animation will allow him to fire? Do it. Oh my gosh, this would be hilarious. Oh, <laughs> once I moved, he did it. Oh, what if we... Do you think we can time it? Try and get in. Well, oh, let me see if I can get hit by this. Okay. Come on, buddy. Can I take these? Oh, thanks. Shoot! Oh, dang it! I don't think I can do it. What about Aaron? You think he'll fire if Aaron's there? Aaron, don't get killed! <laughs> oh! Okay, enough of this! Enough of this flim flam dilly dally crap. Let's go into Fort, Fort Dawnguard and figure out how we can defeat these stinking vampires that keep invading all of our towns. Uh, what's over here? 
As I get distracted again, right? Ooh, there's like a path here? Mossy Glen Cave. I bet I have to go there at some point. So I'm just gonna hold off. Ooh, this is cool! I heard they're reforming the Dawn God. New recruits. Yeah. Mm. Isran will decide if you've got what it takes. Go on. He's right inside. All right, sure thing. So hopefully loading screens aren't too long. I think they are a little bit longer now with all the stuff I've added. If they ever get too long, I'll just cut them out or try to at least if I remember. But if not, then you just have to get used to me talking over a black screen. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Welcome to Fort Dongard. Ooh. Ooh, these are cool logos. I like that. So who are you? So who are you? Hey, stop talking, dude. I'm here. Okay. I'm here to join the Dongard. You got a fire in your belly to kill vampires, eh? Good for you. Mm-hmm. But look around. There's really not much to join yet. I've only just started rebuilding the order. What can I do to help? I need someone out in the field taking the fight to the damn vampires. While we're getting the fort back in shape. I love this guy's voice. Tolan was telling me about some cave the Vigilants were poking around in. Seemed to think it was related to these recent vampire attacks. Tolan, tell him about, what was it? Dim Hollow. Yes, that's it. Dim Hollow Crypt. Brother Adelbald was sure it held some long-lost vampire artifact of some kind. We didn't listen to him any more than we did Isram. He was at the hall when it was attacked. How tragic. That's good enough for me. Go see what the vampires were looking for in this dim hollow crypt. With any luck, they'll still be there. I hope so. Here, you should oh. take a crossbow. Yes. Good for taking out those fiends before they get close. Who? <laughs> Feel free to poke around the fort and take what you need. There isn't much yet, but you're welcome to anything you can use. Really? Okay. I'll meet you at Dim Hollow. It's the least I can do to avenge my fallen comrades. Tolan, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> you vigilants were never trained. I know for... what you think of us. What? You think we're soft, that we're cowards. You think our deaths proved our weakness. Stendar granted you do not have to face the same test. And be found wanting. I'm going to Dim Hollow Crypt. Perhaps I can be of some small assistance to you. Okay. You there, boy. Stop skulking in the shadows and step up here. Oh, this guy. What's your name? I I'm, uh, my name is Agmir, sir. <laughs> Do I look like a soldier to you? <laughs> I'm not a soldier. I'm not joining the army. Yes, sir. E Isran. <laughs> tell you to step forward. What a pushover. Farm boy, huh? What's your weapon? My weapon? I mostly just use my paw's axe when wolves are attacking the goats or something. <laughs> my paw's axe. <laughs> Stendhal preserver. <laughs> this is hilarious. I think we can make a dawn guard out of you. Here, take this crossbow. Let's see how you shoot. <laughs> uh, crossbow? I've yeah. never I've never uh best thing for you. <laughs> Just take a few shots at those crates over there. Please shoot like totally off mark. Hey, good job. You need to concentrate, boy. Try it again. Let's see let's see if he can shoot me. Oh. Try and shoot a moving target. <laughs> Come on, Aaron, get out of the way. You're sweet as honey, but you, I don't want you to get hit. Oh, almost hit me. That's it. Dang it! I really want to get hit. Come on. Oh, I bet I got hit right there. Okay, enough fooling around. Let's see if there's any supplies. Here that I can use. Uh, all right. Probably not. Um, they usually just say that kind of thing to make you look around. But you never know. There could be something. Now the darker areas are, might be a little bit darker, but to me it's a little bit more realistic. I'm really hoping that for video it doesn't uh, get messed up too much. Like it's not like too dark. 
Uh, if it is, I might have to tweak it or whatever, but the first couple episodes will be the same. Let's use the cooking spit. Food. Yeah, I got nothing to cook. Got absolutely nothing. You got health potions. I don't know. Well, hi. Hello there. Okay. So, let me equip this crossbow, actually, because I am pumped um, to use this. I know everybody raved about this when this came out, that the crossbow was really fun. Um... Oh yeah, I got these two new items. Sanguine Rose and the Skull of Corruption. Where is the crossbow? Why am I not? Oh, there it is. Oh, boom. Uh, steel bolt. All right. What's back here? This is like a cave? Oh yeah, they said it's not finished yet. He's starting to rebuild the order. Okay. Fair enough. This guy's still taking lessons. I can take the coin purse. Sweet. Yeah, like what if I need money, right? I don't need money. I've got 93,000 gold. Alright, cool map of Skyrim there. So let's head out here. We've got to go to, what was it, Dim Hollow, I think is what he said. Uh, off to a slow start, but, you know, I'm not too worried about it. I, uh... Probably gonna be playing this playthrough a little bit slower than before, just because I, for you to do, eh? I, he'd like you. I wanna get immersed in the story and um, really try and pay attention to some of the details and uh, the graphics, they just look, looks great. Looks great, I spent a lot of time doing this, so I wanna enjoy it, you know what I mean? All right, let's see if there's any more of these crossbow bolts over here. This guy may have left. Could come in handy. I don't think that there are. Um, okay. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. So, we gotta go down here. Oh cool, I put it on my back. Legit! Vampire Hunter, here we go! Yeah, buddy. This is just too gorgeous, man. I, I just can't believe how good it looks. Like this birch tree with the freaking, look at the, look at the sunlight. It's just, it's too gorgeous. I can't even, ah. Uh, it's like real life. <laughs> oh, look at the sunlight. Just coming around the mountain. Mmm. It's too amazing. And these glaciers. Most of this series will probably be just me freaking out over the graphics. Most likely. Most likely. And I- Oh, that looks cool. And I'm not- I don't tend to be a game- Oh, hey, you're gonna come with me? You, you're gonna join the Dawn Guard? <laughs> oh, what are they, Vampire Hunters? No, I think I'll stay back for that. Uh, I'm not- I don't know. I'm not a gamer that- That focuses very specifically on graphics. I'm not like, ooh, the- Game whatever has the best graphics, therefore I'm going to buy it. Um... I'm not that kind of a gamer, really. I, I play for mostly the experience and the story and the fun of it. Uh, or depending on what the game it is, the addiction of it, whatever. Um, but, you know, when you set out to... Where are we going, by the way? When you set out to... Uh, oh, we can fast travel here, probably. Yes. When you set out to mod a game... Oh, Dim Hollow Crypt. Let's travel right there. When you set out to add mods to a game based on the graphics, it, you got to appreciate it. You know what I mean? You got to take time to appreciate it and gush over it a little bit, even if it is going up on YouTube. Who cares? Who cares?